Hi everyone, welcome back to your channel. In this tutorial, I would like to discuss how we can import a CSV file uh, with the help of the Python in PostgreSQL DB. So, if you are interested in this topic, please stay with me until then. Before we jump to the topic or create anything, I would like to highlight this point that uh, if you are going to Im uh, import the CSV into uh, PostgreDB, then you have to consider the format of the CSV should be same as the format of the DB. So if you change your database structure, definitely you have to change the structure in uh, CSV as well. Okay, so let's first uh, create the one database. Let me just test two, and then uh, let's go to query tool. I would like to create the the table, and I want to call it as staff. And then here I'm going to say uh, ID as a primary key. And then uh, I'm giving the name so Varkar, Oops, Varkar and uh, the length is 50 and I'm keeping as a not null and comma. Then I'm giving as a age again is a Varkar and the length is 50 and not not okay I think uh, everything is fine here you go then let me just quickly to query this to see what we have done what we created okay ID name age and there is no data Okay, now we would need to create our CSV file. So for uh, CSV, I'm using the Google Sheet, which is, I think it's uh, convenient. So let's jump to the Google Sheet and uh, create some data on that one. Okay, uh, already I uh, created one sheet here and I named as a data. So let's keep it as uh, define ID, name, and the age. Okay, then one, uh, John, age 25, to Yane, age 30, and Martin, 40. Then you would need to uh, go to the file, come to the download, and use this comma separated value as a CSV, and click on that one, and then you can download this file. So now I am going to drop this file and keep it the name. You see the name, I will just keep it as a data. I will uh, drop this file in the root directory of my Python code and uh, then we will jump to the coding part to see that how it can be implemented okay i uh, dropped my file in the root directory and also i uh, wrote the one coding for uh, the po uh, python code and this is the my python code let's see How is it? Okay, so first we would need to define the two libraries as an import psycopg2, which you can just only with the pip install uh, this psycopg2, you can uh, install this library. And also you would need the import CSV for reading the CSV. Then you would need to define your database parameters 
as a host is a local host. Name is the name of your database, which already we defined as a test two, and user uh, username of the database. By default is Postgres. So if you didn't change, it definitely is this uh, name. But if you have changed, then you have to write your username. And then also the password, which you define during the uh, installation of the database. And this is the default port for Postgre. And if you already changed, then definitely you need to drop your port here. So uh, this is the method which I uh, define. And here I am calling them as a parameter define connect to db i defined one custom uh, name for this object and then you would need to return in uh, this command for connect to database and again you have to call the parameters which is need to connect uh, to database okay this part is for connection to database and then you would need to define for ingest the data which is uh, required to uh, write your query so if you first you need to uh, drop this connect in into the one value as a c or an n and then also you need to uh, connect c o n n dot cursor and then define it in one object and i I have defined here uh, for the CSV file. I use the width because I want to close the file after reading or writing, whatever. I want to make sure it will be closed. So I, I use that method. And then for open uh, parentheses and then name of the file, which is the data.csv. And if you already drop the file in the root a folder, then you don't need to to take take care of anything else like what I have done but if you have some other folders or other directory then definitely you would need to drop your directory here and then uh, I define as a, a read mode and put it in the file so then uh, we would need to read this CSV file as a CSV dot reader and then uh, you have to bind it to, to the file and a drop in one object which I defined as a data underscore reader. And this uh, command will tell you that, okay, if you want to skip the reader around, which is ID, name, and age in the CSV file, then uh, you, you would need this command because I didn't want to uh, each time to uh, have this uh, uh, header, header names again. So in my DB, that's why I skip this, skip this uh, part. Then we have here for reiterate the reading of the each uh, CSV, and then for for row in data underscore reader, which is temporary, is uh, goes to the row from this data reader, and then CUR that execute. This CUR we already defined for the cursor, and then here we would need execute and SQL. So this here, the, uh, the, this SQL could be select all everything from table, or maybe create the table, or something else. This is uh, this method is uh, general for other SQL as well. I will make another video about the the other commands but in this specific uh, part you we would need to write insert into table which is the staff we already defined and also you, you would need to define your attribute as a id name age which we uh, defined in database and also uh, defined in the uh, csv file and then values same as the query which we before we discussed about that and you would need for each uh, attribute drop the per uh, percentage s which is uh, indicated as a string so i have the three attribute and here i have the, the three 
the mark as well and I need to put it in the quotation and after that I would need to say in, in the row because each time it need the, to read the one row and reiterate uh, the from the CSV and uh, drop it in the database and at the end uh, you need to commit uh, this con connection which need to be saved in the database and then you would need to close the cursor and also close the connection which is the connection of the database and then I am printing uh, if data is successfully adjusted then give me this message and this part is the the general or for the Python uh, code okay let's uh, jump to uh, my folder to trigger this uh, code and then to see whether it will be ingested in the data or not. So I'm going to have this Python uh, app.py. Here you go. Data ingested successfully. So let's go to the PG admin before we didn't have any data here. And then here you go. You can see the data which I defined as a uh, John, Jana, Jana, and Martin. So already all these values are available in this database. Okay, uh, we are done for this session. And Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this tutorial, please don't forget to like button and also share this video. And if you have any question or if you need to uh, make a video about that specific item or uh, the point, please drop in comment below. Definitely, I will take into account, get back to you with the proper answer or appreciate your comment i will make another video about the your suggestion thank you again and see you in next one